You must also dress up like a Jordanian. This is wonderful incense, but I don't have enough gold. What is this red… Uh, the second one? That one? Oh, the second, one. yeah. This one, we call it the evil eyes. That actually, we burn it within, uh, uh, oh. let's say, sage. Uh, we use it for healing. Okay, it's not an edible thing. No, no, no. They are all what you're seeing right here. They are all frankincense and myrrh okay. to burn them, mm. because uh, Petra used mm. to deal with this uh, stuff in the old days. Mm. And Petra, they becoming wealthy and rich through these things, because mm. in, the, in the old days. They produced it here. Or it no. came from east. No, no. Because the real frankincense and the real myrrh, when mm. they brought it to Jesus Christ, they brought it actually from Socotra. You know Socotra? It's mm. actually in an island in Yemen. It started from there, and they used to sell each grams of each grams of myrrh or frankincense, which is equal to two grams of gold in the old days. They, that's why you know the about ten people they becoming wealth and rich, not through the spice, not through the silk, but through what you can see right here. Petra, it become wealthy and rich through these things. I'm so sorry, sir. I don't have any gold, but I understand. I like the smell. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, but I'm talking about in the ancient time, you know. That's why, you know, then about them, they're becoming wealth and rich, because they used to sell one gram of each, which is equal to two grams of gold at the time of the Nabatians. Mm. Very nice. To play two grams of gold for one gram of incense is insane. <laughs> we are here in Petra in front of this wonderful incense, incense merchant. Right from ancient times, these regions have uh, traded in incense, well, uh, as uh, our friend says, at one time, hundreds of years ago or maybe thousands of years ago, a gram of incense, like resin like, th resin like this, would cost two grams of gold. And that's how the region became wealthy and incense being a part of worship. Uh, this is pre-Christian, pre-Islamic era when incense was a very important part of worship and worship was uh, all with multiple deities that human beings made, that uh, that was a time when people or human beings created gods. Now everybody thinks God created human beings. Wonderful, you're keeping up the tradition. Thank Indeed, you. Indeed, I'm so... People should know about these things, it's really nice. It is very important. You must also dress up like a Jordanian, like how they were <laughs> hundred years ago. That would, well, be a, that would be a big draw. I know, but uh, now life has changed to a fancy life. These cultures and traditions are valuable because it took thousands of years to create Indeed, them. Indeed, yeah. You know, in, uh, talking, in one talking... generation of blue jeans, we're just destroying everything. <laughs> yeah, because you're talking since like uh, the first century BC, that mm. means to 3,500 years. Mm. Keep that tradition mm. still, you know. <coughs> <coughs> This is wonderful incense, but I don't have enough gold. Do you like to get... Uh, I don't know what you give me for... What's she giving me? Ten dollars? What is that? It's ten dinners. Ten euros? Dinners, dinners. What ten dinners. Give yeah. me whatever you want to give me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll give you frankincense. Whatever you please. You give me eight dollars worth, it's enough. This is more than ten dollars. Don't do that. Don't do that. Then we'll be happy, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.